have an entire table filled with brand new crafting supplies you can save a bundle on purchasing from the Dollar Tree in their Crafter Square. I'm always on the hunt to find you the best Dollar Tree new finds, and I love finding brand new crafting supplies to share with you. However, this go round, I was totally mind blown. There were so many brand new crafting supplies, I had to make a video just to share those with you by themselves. Before we get started, I want to say welcome back to all of my devoted DIYers, and if you're new here, welcome to you as well. So glad to have you joining me. I am Shannon from thedailydiywire.com, and here you will find tons of Dollar Tree DIYs, hacks, organization ideas, and hauls. And if you love this kind of budget-friendly content, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe so you never miss a new video that I launch here every single week. So of course I'm excited to share these new products with you, but I'm not just gonna be sharing them, I'm also gonna be demoing them and showing you how to use them as well as testing them so you see if they are worth the money or not. And then on top of all that, I'm also gonna be throwing in a couple fun crafts and DIYs. So let's get started right now. Right inside Dollar Tree was this new end cap, which was mixed with some old and some new crafting finds, including these water soluble pencils in white and blue. These are great for creating patterns and doing sewing projects, because once you throw your material into the washing machine, it will all disappear. I also found these great straight pins, brightly colored. Also really love the packaging that they were in to keep everything organized. I've always loved this fun sequin material and products. They're just fun to play with. So I grabbed one just to show you, but basically one side of the sequence is one color and whenever you push it over to the other side, it flips it over and turns it to another color. This would be fun for a kid's sensory book or just something fun for them to play with. But do keep in mind that some of the sequins does fall off. So be careful with that. Maybe even you could sew the edges or glue the edges to keep that from happening but a fun new product. I also loved this. These are brand new, what they call colored string, which it's basically embroidery floss, four different new sets of colors, including bold colors, some pastel colors, whites and neutrals. And I grabbed this one here to make some napkin rings, which I'll show you how to make these in an upcoming video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But I wanted to give you a quick preview. Basically put some through a Dollar Tree button and onto some wood rings to create some easy and quick napkin rings for springtime. They also had on this end cap some new burlap fabric. I was loving the little ladybugs and butterflies. There were some new patterns. I grabbed this one with the red and blue stars on it to put into my stash for the upcoming summer and 4th of July holiday. These were also really fun. They have some new embroidery kits. If you're into that, there were some cute ones as well as these felt kits, which would be great for kiddos. I grabbed this little bumblebee one. We have a new puppy. Her name is Honey. Well, actually she's nine months old already. I can't even believe that. But anytime I see anything honeybee now, I tend to just gravitate towards it. So I found those. They also have these new sets of three coordinating fabric patterns. So again, found some honeybees grabbed those. I thought they were more like folded up fabric, but really when I opened it up, they are strips of fabric, which immediately made me think of rag banners. This would be a quick and easy project to make for different holidays and seasons. I also grabbed some of this white fabric, which is how you kind of traditionally have found Dollar Tree fabric in the past. Now you can find them in these cute sets. We're going to make a quick fabric banner. If you've never done this before, these strips will make it even easier. You just take the strips that are already in there, cut them in half, then you have two strips. I did that to all three of those coordinating fabrics. And then I needed to make some more because obviously I didn't buy enough realizing what I was going to use this for. So to make your own fabric rag strips, you just cut strips and a little slit at the bottom of your cotton fabric and then rip it up the side, hence the rag part. You do want to get any kind of extra strings that are hanging off of your fabric from ripping it. And then you can start making your banner. I'm using some jute here. And to do this, you just take your ends of your strip, fold them down to the bottom to create a loop at the top, put your cording all over the loop and then pull the tails through the loop. And that will attach your strips onto your string. Again, put your tails together, make a loop at the top, put the cord over the loop and then pull your tails at the bottom through the loop at the top to secure them. You're to continue this on creating whatever kind of pattern you want 
Of course, you'll probably have to buy several packs of these packs of fabric from Dollar Tree to get a longer banner, but I used what I had to make a miniature one, which still turned out really super cute. So these honeybees are a fun little theme, but they also had lots of other prints available at Dollar Tree. So keep your eye out to see which one works for you. Speaking of banners, they also have these brand new mini burlap banners in three different styles. I grabbed this one here with the dovetail effect. I'll be showing you how to make this spring banner also in an upcoming video. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. But how adorable is this? You'd never know it started out with a Dollar Tree banner. Now on to more crafting supplies that are brand new. Love these. They are glitter canvases. I found gold and silver. I think this would be so great for a princess party, a mermaid party, fun glittery decor for your home or for us. We are getting ready to plan a graduation party. So I grabbed some for that. Loving the new variations of canvases. Of course, we always have the white traditional ones, but now they have black ones in both the boards and the framed ones with the wood frame on the inside. This was giving me all of the chalkboard style vibes. So I wanted to give it a try to see if maybe it would work like a traditional chalkboard. And I would say it kind of does. It's not really showing up great. So I did just at least give this a try and it does erase pretty good off of there. So I think if you have a good piece of chalk, you might be able to make this work. But I thought, you know what? I have some white chalk markers. So that is probably the best way to go here. It will not erase off there like traditional chalk uh, pieces of chalk will, but you get a much better effect and contrast between the white canvas and the white chalk marker, but cute. And of course, as always, wishing you a creative day. And then back in Dollar Tree, they had these brand new bright colored acrylic paint pod sets and also love these beads. These are perfect for springtime and summertime at bright colored with some fun beads in there like butterflies, dolphins and some flowers. And finally, my Dollar Tree got in these pool noodle knives and I finally got to test it out. I did share this in a previous video in my Dollar Tree planter hacks video. So if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down in the description box to be a great video to head over and watch next. I used these in a planter from Dollar Tree to create a fountain. And that was a really fun project. So I hope you'll check that out. But back inside Dollar Tree, I also found some new glitter. Now they've had the fine glitter in the past in the little baggies. It's really not ideal as it's pretty messy, but now they have these containers, shaker bottles, which I love because they also have the pop top lids on them, which makes it easy to pour out. And that also equals less mess, which I am all about. Then look how cute these paper craft pads are. They had this themed of the forest animals and also some positive messages. This one, I can't express more. If you see these, grab them. Great uh, positive messages in there. Also some fun, just kind of regular scrap pads that would be fun to craft with. But I want to share with you this set here. I loved this one. I just grabbed a Dollar Tree picture frame and it's a five by seven size. Maybe you have some laying around already, but I made a couple of those, including that one. And this one says, take care of each other. So I added this one to a frame as well and added both of these to my crafting space. I love the one that says created to create because that is definitely all of us that love to shop Dollar Tree for our crafting supplies and get creative. I also added this one into my office. It says you alone are enough. You have nothing to prove to anyone or anybody. My Angelou. So a nice little positive message to keep handy. And then this one's really, really pretty. We find our path by walking it in a Dollar Tree black frame. Very classy looking. Now these are not new. I have shared these in another haul in the past glue gun pads. However, I didn't ever get a chance to purchase them or test them out. So I finally am for you today. And I was right off the bat really impressed because when I unrolled it, it's actually bigger than I expected it to be. It was a little bit rolled up, so it's gonna have to take some time to relax, but I wanted to test this for you. If you don't know what these are, you can get paint on them, you can get glue on them, and you can take them to your sink, wash them off and use them over and over again. I have bigger ones that I get from Amazon that I use all the time for my crafting to protect my work surface, but sure enough, the glue comes off super easy and I don't have a sink in my crafting space. So I used a wipe here and that worked just as good too to get all of that paint off good as new. So you could use it over and over again. 
Dollar Tree has had these little mini clips forever and ever, and I've had some for forever and ever. They're little miniature clips in a pack of six, and now they have a larger heavy duty size. They are smaller packs of two, but you get a larger clamp. So I grabbed a couple of these. Definitely a good clamp for crafting, keeping things down while you are waiting for stuff to dry or holding paper down on your work surface. Also another find are these pom-pom makers. I have had the yellow one for quite a while, but now my Dollar Tree has these two smaller size, which I thought was great. You can also find, of course, yarn in Dollar Tree as well, but I thought I'd show you how to actually use these. So this is the larger yellow one. And you just take some yarn or string and you open up one of the clips and then you twist your yarn or material around and around and around and around. You wanna just make sure you don't over wrap it because you need this to clip back down. Once you get it pretty stuffed in there, clip it down and then you wanna cut off the longer tail here. And then you'll flip this over to the other side and repeat that process. So you just wanna hold your tail down while you're wrapping. Do the exact same thing once you get to a good length of or thickness of your yarn, clip it back down and then cut off that tail. Now we need to cut all the little puffy parts of the pom pom. So you're gonna take some sharp scissors, go on the inside edge, there's a little groove in there and trim all of those pieces on both sides. Then we're gonna need a long piece of string, the exact same color and string that you use for your pom pom. And you're gonna find where the center is where you cut those strings apart and make sure you do that on both sides. So you're just kind of like tuck it in there and then pull it around until you get back to the beginning again. So you can pull those strings tight and then tie two or three knots. That's gonna become the center of your pom-pom and keep all of those little strings together. Then cut those long tails off. And then this is the tricky part. You gotta pull the pieces apart. So the yellow pieces come apart and then your pom-pom will pop out of there. Obviously at this point, your pom-pom is looking a little crazy, but you can give it a little bit of a haircut with your scissors to even it up. And this is what your pom-pom will look like. Super duper cute, right? Well, I also wanted to show you the other sizes since I went ahead and got all three sizes of these pom-pom makers to show you the difference in size. Of course, the pink one is your teeny tiny one and the yellow one is the big one, blue one is the middle one. I would say they're probably around um, one, two, and three inches in width. So you get the option to use whatever size works for your project. So these say they are paint strainers, but I really don't think they're paint strainers. That's more to get debris and things out of paint. I think this is more that they go into your sink so you don't lose anything down the drain. But one was a silicone rubbery kind of flexible strainer and the other one was more hard plastic. Just something I found in the crafter section, but not quite sure they're really paint strainers. I love finding things like this. It is a rainbow bead decorative set. Uh, because I never know if I'm gonna need like a colored bead. So this is kind of nice that I can take this apart and have those beads handy and get a good variety of colors as well. But I also loved that there was also a tassel on this. So I cut that off so I can use that for a later project. And then there was a really cute rainbow wood decorative piece on the other end. So I just trimmed that off too to keep that for another time. But I like this because it just ha gives me some wood beads so I can have them handy when I need them. And then speaking of rainbows, I found some cute washi tape. I mentioned in another video that I was looking for some Valentine's Day washi tape. So I found some cute ones for Valentine's Day, some cute rainbow style ones to just add to my collection. I love having washi tape on hand for projects. So I can't believe I found all of these brand new crafting supplies. Let me know down in the comments below which item that you're gonna be hunting for at your own dollar spot in the Crafters Square. And like the sign says, take care of each other. Thanks so much again for watching everyone. I appreciate it. Please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Have a creative day.